the rights of persons generally must not be sacrificed on the altar of social convenience of anyone, even if the moment is a COVID moment. The freedom we have fought for allows us to express our views, whether conventional or otherwise. So there's a very nuanced debate going regarding whether or not people have the right to openly resist vaccinations. The Barbados Workers Union, on this 84th year of commemoration, and in its 80th year celebrating its formation, recommits to the mission that was left to us by Clement Payne. Educate, agitate, but do not violate. As such, the BWU at its upcoming conference on the 28th of August this year will be debating among other issues, the issue of vaccinations from a rights perspective, yes, but also by examining our responsibilities. For as we address rights, we are not going to shy away from the responsibility we owe to our households, to our neighbors, and to this country. For the very essence of solidarity provides for us to be weaned away from whatever we choose to accept for ourselves, and it extends to us an obligation to see what we can do to benefit each other. So what's the difference between now, 84 years after the riots, and nearly 80 years after the formation of the Barbados Workers' Union and the period 1937? It is simply that this time around we are not challenging a white oligarchy. Our decision makers, those who represent us, they look like us, they are us. We are at a defining moment where our country needs all of us. This country needs all of us. And the Barbados Workers Union will oppose force from wherever it comes from and force in whatever form it takes. Indeed, we urge for commitment to goodwill for all and for our future.